communications coordinator and designer for Bohemian Foundation. And Bohemian Foundation actually works a little bit with um, homelessness and outreach programs in Fort Collins. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, through our community programs, um, we some of our goals center around um, poverty, economic stability, that sort of thing. So we have um, a few special initiatives and programs. Um, our probably most notable one is we partner with Slice and United Way to do Project Homeless Connect as part of Homeward 2020. And um, <clears throat> most people who live in the area are familiar with that. That's our one day, one stop shop for people experiencing homelessness or um, in need of services like the basics, so we have clothing and um, food. We, we serve you know the two meals that day, so breakfast and lunch. Um, but the really neat part of that that I like the most is those services that not everyone really thinks about, and that's um, family portraits and um, veterinary services for pets and auto checkups and just a bunch of cool things, haircuts. I mean, the list goes on and on. Um, things that people experiencing homelessness not only don't have access to, but that could really make a difference in alleviating their situation. So, that's pretty so cool. mine's pretty stereotypical, <laughs> I would consider, um, is what got me there is uh, drugs. I did not do drugs, but the people who I was a dependent of chose to partake. My mom and my dad were both meth addicts and um, just didn't make good choices. Uh, I wasn't actually homeless until I was about uh, 13, 14 years old. Um, but we experienced a lot of instability and I would, homeless to me is kind of a, a broader term. Um, a lot of people think homeless is just, you know, people without a roof over their head. <clears throat> when really I considered, uh, I consider myself of having been homeless um, a few years when really much of that time a roof was over my head, but it was never home. It was sometimes a car, a lot of times friends' houses, um, rarely family members. Um, and I just relied a lot on the kindness of strangers and those around me. So it's kind of, yeah, when people ask me how long I was homeless and what those circumstances were, I was kind of start by putting that in perspective for some people. Because it's not as if I was living in a ditch for three years, but <clears throat> it feels the same <laughs> in a lot of ways. Um, because you're just, you're starved for resources that basic people, you know, those basic needs um, <clears throat> that a lot of people take for granted every day. So it was during my time being homeless, I still managed to stay in school. Um, it was still hard because, especially being um, a, ho a homeless younger person, uh, uh, students are cruel <laughs> we all know that and um, they don't know your situation and so I was in rags a lot and didn't always get to shower and didn't have food for lunch and a lot of times couldn't fill out necessary paperwork to get those resources because you need parents information <laughs> and I didn't have my parents information most of the time when I was homeless I was separated from both my parents uh, so I didn't know how to get a hold of them ever and so it was really hard. I usually had to forge documents and um, my parent, uh, my friend's parents would have to take me places and they didn't even have my social security number and it was just, there's a lot of, there's a lot of factors and challenges and obstacles to get over there. Um, so I think, I think that was the hardest part is maintaining, it's just so hard to maintain a lifestyle and get where you need to be because I don't, without the help of others, you really can't do it. A lot of people don't don't think about that. Um, I feel like especially what I hear a lot of the time people say is, well, why don't they get a job? Or why don't they go down to you know the food pantry and do this? And why don't they go get government assistance and stuff? And the stuff that you need to do that is really hard to come across, especially something to consider is not everybody, you know, not every old man that you see that's homeless it's not as if they became an old, a homeless old man, necessarily. They could have started out being homeless as a child, and being homeless as a child or a teen is very daunting because you don't have access to that stuff that you need as an adult to get, to get stuff done. 